RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people. Getting interested in technology. Having access to technology can enhance almost every aspect of our lives. Being included is very much about being connected. Whether it's for online shopping, internet banking, or simply staying in touch with friends or family, technology plays a pivotal role in everyone's lives. It's very, very simple to get started with technology and you can learn bit by bit, day by day. So in this short series of videos, we've broken down all of the popular topics and questions around technology, and we've made it really simple and really user-friendly, and we hope that you find it to be a very valuable resource. Chapter two, smartphones and tablets. Hi, I'm Robin Spinks. I'm 39 years old, I'm partially sighted, and I am a gadget enthusiast. And I have to say that the smartphone is my device of choice. Hi, I'm Ellie Southwood. I've uh, been blind all my life and so have got into the latest technology every time it's come around and this time it's been smartphones. Hi, I'm Madeleine Mann. I am um, 30 years old. I have been blind all my life and I could not live without my iPhone anymore. Now, over the past few years, there has been an explosion in the use of smartphones. Now, if you're not too sure about what a smartphone is, quite simply, it's a very clever mobile phone that can perform all sorts of really valuable functions, all made possible by being connected to the internet. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. There's a lot out there. Ellie, where do we start? <laughs> I think we start with what on earth you want to do with it. So there's things in the market if you want to simply make and receive calls. There are things in the market if you want to go on the internet. Madeleine, you're a smartphone user, aren't you? Tell us a bit about what you currently use. I currently use an iPhone 5. How does that work if you're a person who doesn't have useful vision. The iPhone comes with a screen reader called VoiceOver and it's very easy to switch that on when you first get your iPhone. How do you interact with a, with a touch screen that's essentially a flat surface if you actually don't have anything there to, to feel? You get to know where, for example, the cancel button is or where your keyboard is on the screen. I'm a huge smartphone fan, but I guess not everybody is going to want to use um, a touchscreen phone or, or smartphone. The most important thing is to really explore, try out the options that are available and find out what works best for you. And if you need any help with that, you can get in touch and discuss your options. Now, if you don't want a traditional computer, another option that you could consider is a tablet. Tablets essentially occupy the space between a smartphone and a traditional computer. They're coming really popular with people uh, who are blind or partially sighted. The tablet will allow you to do most of the things that a traditional computer would do, but with much more portability. And it will allow you to also use built-in accessibility features. It sounds like these might be brilliant for people who've got some sight. So they might want to enlarge things on the screen where a smartphone screen just isn't big enough. Where do you see them being useful for people with, with no useful vision, Madeleine? Some people say having a tablet would enable them to use um, the keyboard a bit better, the on-screen keyboard. And people like that, they don't want a tiny thing. The other thing I've always wondered about is cameras, because there's lots of hype about how good, good a pixel cameras have. But what use is a camera to someone who can't see? The camera can be very useful. You want to know what you've got in your cupboard. Um, the camera enables you to scan your product and know, you know, is it a tin of tomatoes or is it a tin of baked beans? And it's important to remember that the latest tablets all have some level of accessibility features built in. Prices range from about £159 upwards, but the most important things, find out what you want to do with the device, keep it simple and explore what's available before making a choice. Thank you both for your contributions and if you want to find out more information you can do so by getting in touch with us via our helpline. For more information, please contact the RNIB helpline on 0303 123 9999 or email digitalaccess at rnib.org.uk. Copyright of RNIB, January 2013. Registered charity number 226 227. Supported by BT. RNIB supporting blind and partially sighted people.